I'll tell you the plot, which is not necessarily what the movie's actually about, but um, a world-class but very reclusive chef who has this wonderful uh, world-class restaurant on a deserted island invites 12 specially invited guests um, for a special tasting menu and mayhem ensues. started with a restaurant that I went to in, in Norway on an island and it kind of made me feel very claustrophobic and I, like I was trapped on an island eating dinner for four hours and then that seemed like a funny place to set a movie and then we kind of took it from there. There was definitely a moment while we were writing where we thought, wow, if Ray Fiennes agrees to do this, it would be pretty remarkable because we were sort of, there, came, there became a point where we were kind of writing it for him. I play a chef Slowick who a, has a fancy restaurant on an island. He has a very upmarket clientele who are paying a lot of money to have a, an amazing culinary experience. And it has to take the form of kind of a high art. I think the whole thing with satire is if for you as the character you're taking it as seriously as possible, if the stakes are incredibly high, that instantly makes it kind of funny. And the thing about horror is you can't be at a nine the whole time. That makes it not frightening, that kind of takes you out of it. And so you need to have these ebbs and flows in terms of light and dark. And so that's why I think that horror comedy really works. I'm not really a foodie, it was more that it was a very original script and story and that Will and Seth had written something that made me laugh or uh, represent a lot of what was going on in society and was scary and gory and, and bizarre so I just thought it was very different. I wanted to work with Mark. Seth Reese and Will Tracy wrote this film and when you see when you read the script you saw that there was this kind of skeletal placement of all these people but you knew that there was all this stuff underneath and how they created that I have no idea. I mean that's a quadruple Lutz. I really like the dark elements in it. I mean, it's 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 very funny, but it's really dark, and I love dark humor. It's my favorite type. It's hard to do. It's not easy. Our director, Mark Mylod, really helped us find the right tone because it was about uh, it was a very very tricky tone to 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 get, and he absolutely and our writers, Seth Rice and um, and Will Tracy. lots of thrills, but I also think there's like a really powerful social commentary, you know, about consumption, about responsible consumption, about where we are as a culture, our anxieties, what we feel, the eat the rich sort of motif we've been seeing a lot of. Um, so I hope people at the very end will just have a great time and then maybe the next time they sit down to eat a meal that someone else prepared, stop and think about what, what went into it. The script is one of the best written scripts I've ever read. Like, I mean that very genuinely. It really came to life once we got to set and every Everybody's so well cast and gets along so well, so it's really an honor. This film is one of the best scripts I've read in a really long time. I mean, I read this script and I had I had nightmares that night <laughs> in the best possible way because I'm a huge horror buff. Um, but it's also hilarious, which makes it so special. The film is about a renowned chef played by Ray Fiennes and it's a, an evening at this very exclusive restaurant that he runs and lots of things happen. I play Elsa who is the house manager for the restaurant and sort of the, the general and right hand uh, woman of uh, the restaurant uh, for chef. It was amazing. It, it, it felt like doing a play. It really did because we were all just in the same room with each other and, and you know because it's a uh, you know, the camera's over there, but everybody's being captured, and then you don't know what shots they're taking, so everybody for, you know, always had to be in it. And so it was, it was really challenging, actually, but it, but it felt like doing a play. It is such a great ride in terms of the, the thrills. They all come at the right time. The laughs come at the right time. It's, it's really a roller coaster of emotions, and, and I had a chance to see it already uh, before, and it really, um, it, it delivers.